Brian Jepson. I'm an editor with O'Reilly Media. We're at the Maker Fair in San Mateo, and I'm hanging out here at the O'Reilly Hacks booth. I'm going to start over here with astronomy hacks because I have a few toys that go along with it. This unit here is a finder for a telescope. It has a switch that you put on here, and what the user does is peeks into this spot here, and they'll see a series of concentric circles. Continuing with the astronomy hacks, I've just got a little bit of color here. This is a piece of red theatrical gel that you can put over a palm to cut out all of the white light. For example, if you had the palm on, you would see an awful lot of light leaking out from all sorts of spots. This is actually surprisingly bad because even a tiny bit of white light can take away your night vision. So this film can slide right under the silicon case and can prevent you from getting yelled at by your fellow astronomers who really need to keep the white light out of their eyes. And red light happens to be perfect for astronomy because it does not diminish your night vision one bit. Moving on to some retro gaming hacks here. This is the PlayStation Portable. We also have a book called PSP Hacks. This hack here straddles it a little bit. What we're running here is a piece of homebrewed software that uses ASCII and it's called Robot Finds Kitten. And what you do is you walk around and run into different things until you find the kitten. And each one has a slightly different identification. Eventually you'll run into something called Kitten and you'll win the game. Moving on across some of our hacks books here, we also have some cell phone hacks and the cell phones that go along with them. Here is a Blackberry which is running Zork and using the keypad you can type sophisticated commands such as open mailbox, uh, climb tree, take ed egg out of bird's nest. This is a Nokia smartphone running the Python programming language. So you can actually hack Python right on your phone. Because this phone has Bluetooth and because the Python for, from Nokia is Bluetooth aware, you can actually make a serial connection from your computer to the phone, issue commands, write programs, and do all sorts of cool things. One of the nice things about Python for Nokia is that on higher end phones, higher end than this one, it supports OpenGL, so you can put pretty rotating graphics on the screen and it's quite beautiful. Last we get to wireless hacks. So this is a hack that uses power line ethernet and a light bulb and a light at Edison uh, light bulb fixture socket thingy here and you just screw this into a light bulb, light comes out of it, and it also starts serving up Wi-Fi. And you can see the NoCat logo there. The way this works is that it has one of these Powerline wireless access points in it. This is a regular Wi-Fi card in here, and this gives you electricity as well as the Ethernet. And that's because you plug this doodad into the same circuit and into your DSL or cable modem, and it transmits the bits and bytes over the power line to the same device. So in this piece of wonderful Tupperware we have here, this device has given up its standard wall outlet plug in exchange for getting power from the light socket. And that's the O'Reilly Hacks booth. We've got a number of books here. We've got a number of things that we're showing off here. And if you want to find out more about hacks, you can go to hacks.oreilly.com. Oh! <laughs>